Konichi, what the fuck is up, guys? So, like, I've been watching a lot of anime. I mean, I mean, Japanese streetwear is really just a unique and overlooked take on fashion. It's, it's totally not the anime. What? But I'm gonna break it down into three things, and they're gonna be your tops, bottoms, and shoes. So take off your damn shoes in the house, and let's get started. Dog, I don't know how people can wear shoes in the house. What? Like, look at this. This is ridiculous. You have been banned from Club Penguin because you wear fucking shoes in the house. For tops, there's a very grunge and almost post-apocalyptic vibe to the garments. Obviously, you can just say, what do you just wear babe? Like babe is Japanese, bruh. But that's like going to a sushi bar and only ever eating California rolls. Babe is the California roll of Japanese streetwear. Americanized and entry level. Like there's nothing wrong with it, but like, have you ever had like, Unagi? But branding isn't necessarily important as the look is pretty nuanced and low key. So if you're just trying to flex, you can go outside and eat your stupid California roll by yourself. But there are a lot of Japanese brands that cater to the look already, so definitely go browse the wide selection of pieces to find what you really like and work around it. Light layering is also a good technique to add to the structure and variety. Think of your fit as like sushi, and this part is your seaweed. It really ties the look together, you know? You really just gonna sit there and compare food to clothes for like four minutes? Hey, it's working, okay? And at least it's good food, though. I'm like, in and out or something. <laughs> like a thin shirt or even a flannel over your top can really add some flavor to your fit. That wasn't another food joke, I promise. Just keep in mind, a slight oversized fit is key. Hey, but if you're really feeling it, though, Kimono, dog. Just go grab your Supreme Katana and go full Samurai Jack on these Fa'aku boys. Fa'aku boys! Next up, we got bottoms, and nothing's ever wrong with well fitted black jeans, but. <laughs> Prop pants or even capris if you want to go full land of the rising sun. This gives a good loose and flowy vibe to go with the look. Also a different way to complement your shoes or Crocs. I'm, I'm not discriminating. Instead of stacks, you got either your socks or your ankles. Studies show that one of one men that wear crop jeans may or may not get a reply from their crush. And I trust those statistics. Respect women, guys even in Japanese. If you're not comfortable with that cut quite yet, a pair of straight fit denim is a staple as well. And if you like the tech wear side, cargo pants are always a yes for me. Hella extra pockets to keep your Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Tapered cargo pants are really making their way up for 2018, so don't be afraid to try them out for yourself. You can even just buy regular cargo pants and learn how to taper them on YouTube if you don't wanna pay fucking Last but not least, we got. Hey, you can go follow my Instagram at ChristianVY. Don't get the fuck out of here. We got shoes. For this bit, we got brands like Asics, Diodora, and New Balance. This style of vintage trainer really looks good with the aesthetic. Not like the athletic runners, but not necessarily dad shoes either. Japan also really loves their Air Maxes, so there's a solid choice if you want to flex your freedom. Where well, you can basically wear any type of sneaker with a look and be totally fine. Though the look seems very plain, there's a lot of creative room to work it into something that fits your personal taste which is why everyone's style seems very unique the look really thrives and looks best when you incorporate your own creative vision rather than trying to copy what's hype overall the whole quote japanese streetwear look is very unique to each individual so there's no real uniform to tie it to all right so to wrap this up okay thanks for watching the video guys and hopefully you take your shoes off in the house if you want to learn more there's a whole channel with japanese streetwear called the casual and it's actually useful shit unlike my stupid sushi tutorial so go check them out if you're really into it i put his info in the description follow me on instagram at christianvy and tweet at me at christianvyyt for some quality behind the scenes email me at frugalaesthetic at gmail.com for anything and yeah guys stay lit respect women but most importantly 